Okay, here's something fun. I took the bottom of a water bottle and made a really lightweight rotor out of it. And by doing that really lightweight, I got away with a toothpick as the main um, shaft for the pulse motor. And then the toothpick, it's a round toothpick. I put crazy glue and pencil lead graphite on it. And uh, with the pencil lead and the crazy glue, I made kind of a friction, uh, low friction bearing. It's just wood on wood, but it's got that crazy glue and graphite that helps it out and made a really neat little pulse motor. And, you know, Granddad, if you're watching this, you could 3D print this out of um, plastic in a heartbeat. And I think this toothpick would run in the plastic just fine. And do the same thing. You put a drop of crazy glue and then put pencil lead on top of that. And you got a pretty good uh, bearing surface. But the other thing that I found out this thing um, will run really good on is I made up a little Hall Effect driver using one of those voltage boosters, and it likes that a lot. And that's this um, new booster that, I mean, new driver that I've been playing with. Yeah, instead of a reed switch, I'm using a Hall Effect sensor. I'm taking the voltage um, and then boosting it up with this voltage booster that's supposed to put out 5 volts. So it'll, it'll actually run at below a volt, but it'll put out enough voltage to run the Hall Effect. And uh, on the Hall Effect, it's just an on-off Hall Effect sensor instead of a reed switch. Something fun. Thanks for watching.